So in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can get custom themes in Spotify just like this one uh, really easily. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So first of all we have to make sure that you have the correct version of Spotify. So just type in Spotify in the start menu and if your logo has the white and green logo like this one, it's this means that you have the Microsoft version, so that's not the one that you want to have. So you need to uninstall that one, go to this link in the description below to install the browser version from the Spotify website. Now once you have done that, the next step is to open a new tab and put in this link. This is going to be the second link in the description below and basically this is where you can get the themes. So press on the download button and press download zip. This will download all of the themes that you can use for the Spotify. Just simply extract it somewhere and just keep it there for now because we, we are going to be using it for later on. Next we will have a text that I will put in the description below and basically you just want to copy the text from there and then put it into Windows PowerShell. Just start it up as and run it as administrator. And paste what you have just copied in there and wait for all of it to finish downloading. This is basically going to download and install the Spicetify client for you. You'll know when it's done when you get this uh, message and when your Spotify opens. Now Spotify is going to open in this type of light mode and I don't want to burn my eyes so I'm going to minimize that. And... Um, yeah, once this is done, you're going to keep. You're gonna still need the power uh, shell, so just keep it open for now. And um, yeah, next you want to go ahead to where you put the themes on, um, and then all you want to do is copy the entire thing, uh, uh, literally everything, and then go to your uh, the C, go to users, go to the one that you're on, and then go to dot spicetify. Once you're there, find theme and paste everything you just copied into there. Now um, there's two types of themes that you want to pay attention to here. There are themes with the .js file which is uh, javascript and then there are th uh, themes that doesn't have the js. So uh, an example of one with that is dribblish and the one that doesn't have it is sleek. So I'll be showing you guys how to install both of them because both of them requires different method of installations. So we're going to start off with the one that does not have the JavaScript files. So for this example, I'm going to be using the sleek and the color scheme. I'm going to be using psycho. So just put it like that, uh, Spotify config, whatever. Um, I have it written already. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it into the PowerShell. So if you want to use another, another uh, theme that does not have the .js, just, cha just change the sleek with um, the name of the of the of the theme which does not have the .js and then change the color scheme as well and make sure that you get the capitalization uh, correct because this is case sensitive so next we're going to be doing the ones with js but if you because i already installed one a theme if you want to change it make sure that you type this in beforehand uh, specify restore basically this is going to give you the default layout back so always do this if you're going to change the themes so now we're gonna do the ones with the javascript files so first of all go to the one that you want and take the .js file and go ahead and copy it then you wanna go back uh, to the .spicetify folder and then go to extensions and just paste it there now once you have done that go back to where the .javascript file is and then you want to copy the name of the JavaScript file into um, that layout that I've already posted. It's going to be in the description below as I said again. Make sure that the color scheme is correct and the name is also correct. And again, it is case sensitive. So get it correctly. Because if not, it's just not going to work. Paste it into your Windows PowerShell. Press enter. And you will get this. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to change the colors just you know 
in case you want to get another color and by my explanation by word you still don't get how to so for example i want to go with this purple color you can see that that's i, I typed uh, north dark just type it to purple and then go ahead and press re uh, restore first make sure you do that and then just copy that with the color that i already changed paste it in and there you go the color is now changed there's also some configs here but yeah I'm, I'm not gonna be using those because i'm just here for the themes so that's pretty much it and uh yeah i tried to make this as simple as possible i also try to make it as quick as possible but i feel like any quicker and it would have been confusing if it's not already confusing just um follow what i've told you to do everything is gonna be in the description below and uh yeah if this worked for you uh leave a like and you know subscribe i've made other tutorials that win that has something to do with windows that like the animated wallpaper in the background as you can see i already made a tutorial and that as well so if you want to go ahead and check that out um it's in uh, my channel it's also in the top right hand corner of your screen so you know go ahead and check it out if you're interested and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos because i am going to be posting a lot more video and uh, yeah comment if you have any questions you'd like to ask me i'll try my best to answer all of them and the rest of this video is basically just me going around doing um, other themes that i can also do so if you want to watch that uh, feel free to do so but this is where my voiceover ends, so yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye!